Hey guys, welcome back. We're gonna be starting on replacing the transmission in the Bonneville here with a built unit. Finally, Ooh. he barely got up got to grandma's a couple <laughs> days ago because it That's was uh, revving to the moon and not actually moving at all. Just so if you guys don't know about this car, you know, just to catch you guys up, it's a, <laughs> there's a whole saga to it, but basically all you need to know is it's an L67 bottom end, you know, L67 Gen 3 supercharger. It's got a 3.4 pulley that we're going to put a 3.0 pulley on it. It's got the ZZP, what was it, the Nick cam? No, it's got the uh, the VS cam. VS cam. It's got North Star throttle body, an intake. What else has it got done to it? I mean, it's got Injectors. valve train stuff. Yep. It's got LS7 lifters, LS retainers. It's, a it's got full full exhaust. Yeah, that's true. So it's got most of the work done to it. And an intercooler. And that, that's important. Well, we bought one transmission for it. It's, it's sitting, sitting in a box right back right there. Right in that box. We didn't, know. we didn't know. Grand Prix specific. Well, okay. So now we're switching gears. We're gonna take the transmission built for the trans built for the Bonneville out of the car. We're gonna have that rebuilt professionally by Cotman's. I have the whole rebuild kit and with a triple edge stage yeah. two yep. master. So overhaul if you guys want to see that, it's on a previous video of ours. That transmission is gonna go up for sale soon. It's completely built, basically exactly how I have mine. Once it's done, it'll be very similar, if yep. not the same. Yeah, the, the transmission we that we're putting in that's going to get rebuilt, it's going to have a Quaif LSD. So if you know anything about these front wheel drive 4T65s, it's like the best limited slip differential you can get for these. Very expensive. It's, yeah, going to have it has a 4340 input shaft. It's got the 329 gear reduction or gear ratio change mm -hmm. for the chains. It's got the 7 8 inch single chain versus a double chain and what else there's a bunch of myriad of other things upgraded valve body the shift kit stuff from transgo mm -hmm. a lot there's of beef stuff, stuff and revised like, like stuff. i said everything is on there in the in the previous video that we did on it that's all going to be in here this this transmission already does have some aftermarket parts like he was saying but it basically it's all it's a stock transmission other than the parts that we put in it and it has a hundred and 30, 40, 50,000 miles. Because it's got green markings that look like it's from a junkyard. Oh, really? Yeah, because that's what junkyards do. They paint shit green oh, so that go. they know that it came from them. And so we don't actually know how many miles this thing has on it, but it doesn't owe me anything. I have beaten on it so much in the, the four or five years I've owned this thing. And then tuning, beating on it, trying to get data logs. Well, that's when it started having problems. And so we knew for like the last six months that it was gonna have to be rebuilt. And I was basically just kind of stringing it along as, as best I could to work and back is, uh, and I travel quite a bit for work. So eventually, just a couple of days, or last Sunday, that's when it uh, gave basically up. gave out. And uh, now we're here. So a couple other things, most you know people, if they're replacing the transmission, probably wouldn't pull the full engine. We're gonna be doing that for yeah. a couple of reasons. The uh, cylinder head on the back, on this side and the other side is leaking coolant and oil. Yep. So that's a mystery. The catch can is constantly failing. You can see how like disgusting that is. Like it's just been spraying everywhere. Yep, which we have a fix for that. The leaking coolant we think is just because we never retighten the, the head bolts. Or it could be some people have told me that uh, coolant is able to leak past the threads because yeah, coolant the, jackets. The, the head bolts go into so coolant. So either way, bolts. what we're going to do is we're going to take the head bolts out one by one. And then we're going to put new head bolts in that I already had bought in, and then put plumber's tape around them, put them in, torque them, heat cycle, torque them again once it's back in the car. And we're thinking that the oil on the back specifically, I've never had this problem before. Uh, it's yeah, right all there. everywhere. Um, we're thinking that that is a lower intake manifold bolt that goes through the valve train. I'm going to take all those out on the back side, and then I'm going to probably just plumber's tape them. We put PTFE paste on it, but... We, we think so. I th most of the bolts on this, we put PTFE paste on, yeah. but, you know, it's possible we missed that. Who knows? I've seen, I've seen bolts, or I've seen fluid leak right past the PTFE paste, and I've seen the plumber's tape work better just with my transmission like one of the uh one of the bolts was like uh the threads came out physically came out because yeah. I, I guess i over torqued it or something and uh well ptfe tape worked for that to seal it up but the paste did just leak right past that bolt yep 
So yeah, we're gonna try that, and then a few other things I'm gonna probably do while it's out is three change inch. the. Uh, oh yeah, the three inch pulley. pulley. Gonna change the heater hoses that go into the firewall. It's just impossible to do with the car. Not literally, but more than what we want to do. Yeah. And since while we have leaking, the motor out, it's gonna do it while while it's out. And then uh, besides that, I can't really think of much else we're gonna do besides like fix the issues it's got. Yeah, we rebuilt this motor, oh, yeah. so the motor runs fine. It's just leaking on those sides. Yep. And... and so it's been running absolutely great. It just needs to be. The tune needs finishing up, and mm -hmm. like I just, as soon as the transmission started giving me trouble, okay, no more tuning, no more rips, nothing. So I've just like, just been driving it to work and back. But we're also gonna be wrapping the exhaust with oh, titanium right. yeah. wrap. Because you can see how gross and, this looks. We tried painting it with some yeah. ceramic paint, and uh, that did not work out. And absolutely no to wrapping the headers in the car. I've already done yeah. it once, and it is awful. So while we have the motor out, we can easily get to those. Exactly. So that's what's going to happen. And with titanium wrap instead of fiberglass, big mistake the first time. If you want fiberglass all up in your hand every time you're working on your car, you get go. fiberglass wrap. Yep, guys. So what we're probably going to do is we're going to start disconnecting all the electronics, lift the car, drain the oil, drain the coolant. Uh, and then from there, we can start taking apart possibly... We don't want to remove the intercooler. We're going to see about disconnecting the lines somehow. Uh, that might be a huge ass struggle and might not be we'll feasible. See, yeah, we will see. It's we just a always, pain we to We can always replace this. these lines if we need to, like That's completely. True. Just just cut them and, and yeah, take them off. While the motor is out, we can get that. But yeah, and then <sighs> unbolt the exhaust under the, the under the car, unbolt the torque converter bolts. And then the motor mount, and I mean that's pretty much it. I yeah, all the all anything. the grounds, all the electrical connectors. The, yeah, I mean uh, there's accessories. You the know, unbolt, unbolt the AC yeah. condenser, the power well, the power steering pump. Yeah, take that off. There's, it, we we've gotten this down pretty well at this point. We've yeah, done this. Like, we have done this, this isn't our bit. isn't our first rodeo here with the doing this, and we've we've done it pretty fast before. So yep, we're gonna let the car cool down a little bit while we disconnect everything, and uh, yeah, we'll start working on pulling this thing out. All right, guys, so uh, we're, we, you know, a little bit into this. The GoPro died, so you didn't see the rest of that. Yeah, got you know. a little update. But uh, we pulled the drain plug on the transmission, mm -hmm. and for the first, like, second, it was just straight gray color. Yeah, it was like great. silver, and then it went to, like, dark red. And then, you know, I take the, the drain plug off, and, well, it's got this little guy right here, the big chunk, and then another chunk right here. Your, your drain plug's not supposed to look like that, guys. Are you sure? This isn't normal? Here, let's see. Like, what? Dude, what are, what, like, what chunks? Something, oh, it's like, yeah, holy crap. What is that? What are these? 
something broke. We might know. find out. I mean, we're, we're not going to be digging it. shop is going to find that out, and they'll probably have a new invoice for you. That, <laughs> I hope not. I hope it's not like any together. Or maybe something. I hope it's no hard parts that like I need in this transmission, and then just like that gunk. Ugh. That's basically what like that color is what the fluid looked yeah. like. And oh man, the only I thing wonder... I can assume these are or think they are, or maybe the pump fins, which would really suck. Then you would need a new pump. Yeah. Here. Um. You know what? I wonder. Uh, I wonder what the magnet on the bottom of the pan is gonna look like. Oh well. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to take that off and and at least see. Oh, we can. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Wow. I I can't believe that came off and and we'll have to clean them up and just like investigate a little bit more. But yeah, we just want to show you guys. That's crazy. <laughs> Horrible. So update on this. We've gotten all the the complete engine harness is disconnected except for. Well, no, even that is disconnected. We just got to get the uh, cam position sensor. Whole yeah, harness oil. is going to be disconnected. We got to do the fuel lines. We got to drain the coolant. We got to, I think, take off the... Do we need to take off this coolant crossover bracket? Probably. We have power steering pump off. We have we two the of the nuts off of, off of the AC compressor. So we're, like, just a couple bolts away from starting pulling this off. Then torque converter bolts, bell housing bolts, and engine mount. Yeah, uh, and then we'll pull the motor. Fuel, like well, exhaust. Uh, just yeah, the, the rear exhaust. And then we have to overcome this thing. We don't want to disconnect. We don't want to remove the intercooler. So we're going to try disconnecting from the junctions here. That'll be a struggle. And we'll dump a lot of coolant, I think. I should probably tell them that the reason why we can't just take them off of the intercooler um, is there out stuff inlets on there? is because they're RTV'd on there because it will leak otherwise. And uh, so. And also, one of the hose clamps is upside down. So we can't even do that like it's just no That's way pretty bad yep but we're making progress here and we're getting pretty close all right guys another update here we uh found some more damage so this goes to the coils and then the crank sensor and cam position sensor and you can see the belts tore up my god the gopro doesn't fucking focus but they're torn through just a little yeah, bit showing wires they're still running but <laughs> We'll get that fixed. Yeah, the car was running like a top, but <laughs> you wouldn't be able to tell based off of this. All right, guys, we're back. I didn't show the uh, time lapse I said we're gonna do, but we are going to pull the motor here soon. We got the uh, intercooler lines undone. They were a lot easier to disconnect than we were expecting. We did the gas lines and no, dripped no gas on, on anything, which is awesome. Got the rear exhaust off. We have, there's probably like one or two things that I forgot to mention that we did that we hadn't mentioned previously. Not a big deal. All we have left are the bell housing bolts and the front motor mount. So we're gonna get the engine stand up here, secure it so it's kind of holding it. Then we can do the bell housing bolts, motor mount, and this thing's ready to completely come out. Uh, oh, we gotta take the hood off because that, that'll hit the hood. But that's really it. And then we'll, we'll have it done. I mean, it's been really, really quick process. Ready. I'm about to just like yank this forward. Oh, we need to go up a little bit more. more. Yeah. This side's not. Yeah. Oh, it just did it itself. That's loose. Hey, hey we're gonna cover. need another memory card soon. Oh. It's not like vital, but it, it's soon. Yeah. So the uh, rear cover's leaking for sure. What? Yeah. We're just going to watch everything as we come up, guys. So I'm gonna put you back on the oh, I see it. What thing the here. Fuck? You're down. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. What did you do? Yeah, I pooped. What did you do? Pooped and peed a little bit. This transmission did not look like that. No. Did not. And collected all the yeah. fluid. Alright guys, I'm not sure what you saw. The ST card got full actually from all the stuff we did, but boom. There it is. The big boy. It is, uh, you know, leaking everywhere. Very interested to see where the oil was coming from from this side. The oil leak from the rear here. Like, 
what was that all about, you know? And you can see how disgusting the transmission is with all the rear oil leak that we had. Yeah. Jesus. Can't even find my phone. I don't know where that went. That's good. Probably just lost within this pile. Yeah, I did drop a transmission bolt somewhere in here. Or no, the motor mount bolt. I don't know where that went. Oh, it looks like it's right under the jack stand. Oh, yep. Oh, we got some cleanup to do here for sure. Where the hell did my phone go? I want to make an Instagram story. Oh, we'll, we'll have time for that. But now, no, my phone. now we got to go get our engine stand and bolt this up to it. Uh, probably take off the... Yes. Yeah. It looks like... Well, I was saying it was leaking from back here. It Maybe, literally is. Yeah. Damn. But then again, like... Oh, I what came the and... That's weird. Oh, oh that's what? Our, that's, like that's our TV? Something. Oil mixed with our TV? Oh, let's turn oh, off this music. There we go. Copyrighted. Yeah, that's paste. So maybe it was just this leaking that leaked back there, you know? Yeah. And then it's straight up ew. so bad. It's leaking right along this edge where the yeah, gasket could is. Could be the cylinder head gasket or the the cylinder head bolts. <sighs> yeah. Just... Oh, I know. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna take this off uh. and this thing's gonna get a thorough cleaning. Chocolate milk. Give well, me five bucks. I'll do it. I'll do it for the video. We'll need to. Uh, probably go ahead and uh not right now but take out the exhaust just unbolt the yes. v-band from down there the o2 sensors i wish it had a v-band oh it does an actual v-band yeah yeah you bought this thing with a v-band no yeah no it can't be this doesn't this is a slip-on i wish it were oh boy this has been this has been a you know a thing eventful eventful yeah but this thing's out guys Next thing that we would need to do, which I don't know if we have time for today, but unbolt that mount, the rear mount, the axles, and the transmission cooler lines, and the transmission's ready to come out. Eesh, I think it's so disgusting. Yeah, we'll need to, I think, uh, drop by AutoZone and buy a bunch of brake clean and just douse this thing. We can always do that tomorrow if we want to. Yeah, just clean up everything just so it's easier to touch and manage. Oh, it's 413. Okay, yeah, we got to clean up then. But yeah, everything, uh, I mean, everything came out smoothly, I'd say. Uh, smoother, yes. I feel like we had an easier time with this than what we did installing the rear upper control arm on my Mustang. We were just talking you're about right, that. We, right. In the video when we're doing it, Tristan's like, you know what, I think we have an easier time pulling the drive train on my car. I'm like, probably. Yeah, it was hell. All right, guys, we took the flex plate off and just look how disgusting that is. It's all just caked on oil from the leak up here down. I don't think the back cover was actually leaking at all. I think it was just all dripping down from this side, which is, uh, you know, pretty bad. I also checked in here because I sus suspected that the uh, intake air temperature sensor we put in might have been causing the oil leak, but there's literally nothing back there that would be spraying oil that I can see. I mean, it's actually dry in there where the sensor is. So that's up to some further investigation, I guess. So we're going to go ahead and get the mount on here so we can get this rolled out of the way and we can clean up our tools and put the hood on. There we go. Do we have the pin? Do we want the pin? Oh yeah. Okay. Um, not sure where that thing is anymore. All right, guys, we're finally done with uh, pulling the motor. Yep. We still have to pull the transmission, obviously. That's the whole goal. But with the motor here, out we can address some of those things we mentioned it's incredible oil leak on the back the front also had an oil leak as you can see right here went straight down yeah with Holy all the accessories crazy. and stuff on the front it's not easily seen but yeah it definitely is leaking from both sides hard to get there hard to see there's some dry coolant you can see the green and we're also gonna you know try to fix that so retorquing the heads we got new head bolts that tristan had ordered and then uh what else were we were gonna do on it, kind of maintenance-wise? Um, I think there was one other thing we had talked about. Change the heater hoses out. Yes. Um, Maintenance-wise, I'm not sure what else. Yeah, nothing else really. We had the uh, the the exhaust wrap. PCV. Oh yeah, that once we get the uh, the new catch can, I'll be buying that soon. And then spark plugs, and then she'll be good. Yep. Yep. So yeah, this uh, put the hood just back on, but as you can see, it's all gone. And we're going to be pulling that guy next video. So uh, if you liked, you know, the video, leave a like, 
subscribe to the channel check out some of our other videos this is probably like the billionth time we've taken the motor out of this thing so yep you know there's that but yeah check out our other videos we'll see you next time